Right, grade 11s and 12s, welcome back to our next video. This is number four. We have a, if you've been following everything thus far, you'll see we have um, our basic structure. We've added in a couple of things, um, some attributes. This is what our site looks like at the moment. We have a title, um, we have uh, some text in there, we have a, a horizontal line as well, and we've even got a couple of attributes uh, that we've added in to various tags as well. Okay, now I'm going to do something with this text over here. So um, I'm going to separate this now into paragraphs and, and actual headings. Okay, so if I want to do that, the first thing I'll do is I'll just type out my headings. And I'm going to put in there heading one and uh, I'm going to have my various text over there. That's what that one's going to look like. And then I'm going to put in a heading 2. And that's what that text looks like over there. So when I now save this, that's what my text is going to look like. Remember, just because I press the enter button <laughs> in Notepad does not mean um, that it's actually going to come through on the website. Remember, what do I have to do? I've got to insert line breaks. So... Where I could use line breaks, I know that this is one paragraph and I know that this is another paragraph. So what I can do is to insert paragraph tags. So to say this is the beginning, or this is the start of my paragraph, and this is where my paragraph ends. This is where uh, my next paragraph begins. And this is where my next paragraph ends. Remember, I'm opening and closing the tags as we go along. All right, let's see what it's done. File save, refresh the site. And, oh, there we go. That's something nice. So here you can see I've got heading one. That's still aligned center. And I put the paragraph tag at the beginning of the next line. All right, do you see what it did? It moved that text over to the beginning of the next line. And it continued the text and then moved everything after the D because that's where the paragraph ended. It moved it over to the next line. Right? Now, the difference uh, is now when I said heading 2 and I put the paragraph there and I put the other one over there, it's basically saying that this whole section is one paragraph, which is exactly what it's done over there. Okay. So, if I want to correct that, then all I'm going to do is just... Put the paragraph tag over there. I'm going to save it. I'm going to refresh it. And there we go. That looks better. So do you see why I'm saying to you, uh, look at putting each tag in, um, testing it out, saving it, refreshing the site, and then you'll be able to see what's going on. All right. Now, for headings, we have specific tags. Um, these are tags from H1 through to h five, six, but basically what it's saying is H1 is a main heading and then H2 is a slightly smaller one and the next one is slightly smaller, etc. So let's go and test this out. Um, in fact, I'm going to use an H1 heading for welcome to my website. So I'm going to go H1 and I'm going to close H1. Again, file, save, refresh, and you see what's happened. Look how big it's gotten. All right. So now on heading one, let's use H2. And let's go down to heading two. And let's use H3. So this is just to illustrate to you the difference between um, these different headings. And there we go. H1, H2, and H3. And that's some of your formatting um, with regards to your headings.